In this problem, we're supposed to compute the smallest dimensions for the area of a poster. So it's a rectangular poster. They actually gave the picture, so even though uh, my picture probably isn't the best drawing, but you know, essentially, you can look at the picture and get an idea of what they're asking. So the top and bottom margins of the poster are each six centimeters, so six and six here, and the left and right margins are four centimeters. And they're saying that the printed material in the middle has to have a total area of 384 centimeters. But of course, you can switch around, you know, the dimensions, whether it's long or tall or whatever, right? So the question then becomes, what are the dimensions, meaning the outside dimensions, the total dimensions of the poster with smallest area? So you can do this kind of two different ways. It really is the same. Um, it depends on what you want to call X and Y. Uh, you know, I might as well just do it this way. <laughs> I, I think it's actually easier to, to do it this way if you call the inner dimensions X and Y because then the math is a little bit easier. But if you do the outer dimensions, it doesn't matter that much. But I'm just going to do the inner dimensions because it makes it a little bit easier. So my inner dimensions, I'm going to call them X and Y. So printed area, so we'll call it uh, printed area. I'm going to call it PA. That's just going to be X times Y. And then if you look at what are the outer dimensions then of my big poster here, the total area, well, this is X, and then I have two pieces of four on each side, so this would be X plus eight. And then this is Y, and then I would have two pieces of six on each side, so this would be Y plus 12. So outer dimensions, I've got x plus 8 and y plus 12. So I'm going to call that total area. So my total area is x plus 8 times y plus 12. And the problem is asking me to minimize this total area when we're constrained by this part, the printed area being 34. I'm sorry, 384. Okay, so they could have asked this the other way. They could have given you a fixed total area and they want you to maximize or minimize the printed area depending on how they're setting up the problem. So there's various um, iterations of this. But in our case, we've been, we have set the printed area at a specific number and we're going to minimize the total area okay so that's the setup here what i want to do then is take my total area this is what i want to take the derivative of so i need it in terms of one variable i'm going to use the fact that this printed area has to be 384 right to solve for variable so I'm just going to eliminate the y, okay? So I'm going to shove that in here. So for my total area, then I've got x plus 8 times 384 over x plus 12. Now I can take the derivative of this with respect to x. Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of multiplying through first. So I've got... Uh, plus 8 times 384 over 
x plus 12x uh, plus uh, 96, right? Okay, so if I rewrite this, um, I am going to get 12x plus, okay, 8 times 3, 84. I did this. I did this somewhere on paper, so I'm going to kind of like multiply when on the video. All right, and then um, 384 plus 96 ends up being 480. Okay, so let us then take the derivative of that. Get out of space again. So I've got 12 minus 3072 over x squared plus 0. Okay, I need to make that equal to 0 because I need to find the minimum. So once obviously I want to put that on over a common denominator, just let them equal each other, right? It's fine. I'm going to get 12x squared minus 3072 equals 0, which is going to give me, if I pull out the x squared, this is 256. Okay, so x is 16, right? Um, and again, you can show, and of course also negative 16, but we don't want that one, right? So if I go back to this and check my um, sign chart, just around 16, because I don't care about negative 16, right? If I put in something uh, much smaller than 16, like one, I'm going to have something negative, and I put in something bigger, much bigger, I'm going to something positive. So I can see that this is indeed the minimum. Okay, I've checked that I've got my minimum at x equals 16. Now if I go back to this and figure out what y has to be there, y equals 384 over 16. And I did this too somewhere, that's 24. So x equals 16 centimeters and y equals 24 centimeters. But wait, am I done? Right? I found my x and my y, but if I go back and double check, it's asking me to find the dimensions of the poster with smallest area. So what they really want is the outside dimensions. So they don't, we found the inside dimensions, which is fine because then all we have to do is add for the outside dimensions. So let us find the minimum, the, the answer for the outside dimensions. So outside dimensions then, I've got, uh, where is it, 16, 16 plus 8 is 24, and 24 plus 12 is 36. So that, uh, so outside dimensions are that. Okay, um, you could also let this be x and that be y. Then you would have this would this 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 whole thing would be x minus eight, and this guy would be y minus twelve. This would be you would have x minus eight and y minus twelve. So you have to do a little bit of work to solve for x in terms of y. Um, then you would solve put it in the other way. So it ends up being exactly the same. Um, this doesn't matter which way you do that, but um, in the end one way or the other it's fine as long as you make sure that you've read the problem and answered whatever they're asking you